and welcome back to Cons or Critiques in Cars with Emily. Um, tonight was like a super special night because I went with a super special guest, um, my friend from college. So it was awesome. It definitely made my night a little bit more special. Anyway, so the um, concert was, um, headlining was Mainland, who I just recently saw opening for Mowgli's, which was my first post, I think. So that's kind of cool. It's officially come full circle, I guess. Um, and then before them was Kitten, and then a band called Rad Horror. So, um, so yeah, it was, let's talk about the venue first, actually. So this was a totally new venue. I've never been there before. It was actually more of like a, like mini art gallery. Um, very small venue with a pretty extensive bar. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it was awesome. You like walk in and there's like art on the walls and there's couches and like cool colors on like the back wall was all painted in like a cool design. And um, so that was pretty neat. And then um, the bar was in the back and the stage was, I mean, no matter where you stood, you were in a good spot. So getting there was pretty easy. Um, if you don't have the Spot Hero app, you should definitely get it. I know I've talked about it before. But anyway, so there's a lot, like right across the street. And when I looked at Spot Hero, it was $1. And I was like, hmm, that seems a little sketch. Who's going to let me park there for $1? But then I was thinking it's probably a commuter lot and they probably don't care after a certain hour, like seven o'clock or so. They're probably like, eh, whatever, you can come and park. It's fine. Um, so that's exactly what I did. So it was awesome. I parked for like four hours for a dollar, which was fantastic. And um, when my friend came, we went to go like look at the parking. And I was like, well, if the parking's not too much, like maybe I'll just have her pay for normal parking. And it was like $10 or more for two hours of parking. And I was like, absolutely not. Download Spot Hero and she paid a dollar as well. So again, if you ever go to the Metro Gallery, that's what it was called, Metro Gallery in Baltimore, um, definitely check it out. How did I not say the name? Anyway. Metro Gallery in Baltimore, cute little venue, obviously very small bands play there, um, but it was really good. I really enjoyed the show there, um, great sound, um, all the bands sounded really good. So yeah, definitely um, if you see a band that you are semi-interested in, check it out. It's a pretty cool venue. So, and the tickets are pretty cheap, which, you know, always is helpful. <laughs> so let's start with the first band. So the first band um, I had listened to on the, on, you, on the YouTube, I listened to on YouTube. <laughs> And so that's a rad horror. Um, and my friends said it best. They looked like a 90s pop punk, pop punk band. And they were pretty accurate to that. They were good. And I listened to their stuff before and I knew I was going to like some of their songs. Um, so yeah, they were really energetic and they were super um, engaging in the crowd. And they brought the crowd in and they were, um, you know, asking us questions and things like that. So it was really fun. They were trying to get us involved, which was awesome. And it was a small crowd. So the fact that they were super into it was great. Um, so yeah, they were definitely good. I would definitely check out some of their music. I like their style, but again, I had like some of their songs beforehand. So I knew I was going to be okay with them. Um, the second band was called Kitten. Oh, I listened to some of their stuff on YouTube and I was not looking forward to seeing them, but, um, lead singer was a female surprise and they ended up really surprising me um not because I like their music don't get me wrong it was very like 80s synth and I mean even their outfits were super 80s which was great it definitely played into the whole experience but um I gotta give the lead singer like a crap ton of credit she is fantastic super energetic moving around um you know, like jumping on things, going onto the ground, getting off the ground, just like awesome. And you know, they have six band members and for a small, tiny stage, they really knew how to use their space. Um, at one point the lead singer stood on someone's shoulders, which was crazy. She like asked someone in the crowd if she could stand on their shoulders and they were like, sure. Little short girl worked flawlessly. Like it was just so cool to see a lead singer of a band standing on someone's shoulder in the middle of a show. Um, so again, definitely give her a lot of credit for making it entertaining, despite me not loving the music. There were almost maybe one song that I was like, ooh, I kind of like this song. But um, again, not necessarily my genre or style of music, but let me tell you, if you ever get to see Kitten live, go for it, because it was fantastic. So I definitely, definitely appreciate the effort and just the showmanship of that lead singer. She was pretty good. I mean, the whole band was good, right? Um, the one keyboardist though, 
had an interesting, very stoic face the whole time. So that was kind of fun to uh, to witness and watch. But um, but yeah, definitely a good band. Check them out. Uh, again, if you like that like 80s synth music, it's right up your alley. If you don't, maybe don't listen to it on YouTube. But again, if they're going to be opening or even headlining and you know the opener to them, like definitely go see them because it's definitely worth at least seeing them once. It was pretty good. So now let's get to the headliner. Mainland, again, like I had said, I had seen them before. Um, they were running late to the show that time and they were fantastic. So I was really looking forward to seeing them again and they had just released a new EP like two or three weeks ago and I've been listening to that nonstop and um, really like, like love one of the songs on it, like super love it. Really, really like two other songs and then the rest are like good songs, again good songs. I, I know I'm sounding like they're not that good because I like loved the other one and the other ones were great. Um, but definitely check out It's Villains is their EP title. Um, and this tour was the Villains tour. So they were playing the whole EP. And they opened with the song Villains, which I love. That's like one of the songs that I really like. So um, I was excited because I was like, ooh, like I know this song and I like this song. But um, I, I was like, man, they're opening with this? Like that seems so strange to me that they would open with like their like hit from the album um so yeah that was like a little bit I was caught off guard not that it was bad it was good I mean obviously I like the song so for them to begin that way was pretty cool um and then they played a couple more songs off the EP and then they went to some old school stuff um and it was great I again I didn't really know it as well as I knew of select few of their songs but it was really good they played a very popular cover which I appreciated that it was popular and it was good and it was uh, really fun and the, my friend that I was with was excited about it so that was cool um and then oh, I just say on so much sorry guys I know that's probably really annoying so anyway <laughs> try not to say um <laughs> After they played a couple songs that I either knew but like wasn't a huge fan of or like didn't really know, they played a new song and it was fantastic. I am so excited for this song to come out. It's called Panic and like from the very first chorus I was like this song is going to be amazing and I can't wait and it was just, I mean, again like they had like short kind of quick words and it was just fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to them coming out with maybe even a full length album at some point, but that song in particular, I'm really excited to hear. So I'm super pumped about their new stuff. Um, and then at one point the guitarist, um, but we'll leave singer slash guitar, his guitar like broke. So he had to get a new one. And I'm so mad because he asked the crowd, do you know a joke? And I know so many punny jokes and I was so mad at myself that I didn't just like say one and I couldn't think of one quickly because they're terrible. Don't get me wrong, terrible. But at least it would have been funny and it would have um, allowed him to fix his guitar a little bit faster or at least with a little less um, like awkwardness and just total silence. But um, but yeah, so it was, I mean, it was fine. He fixed it within minutes and it was great. So then he gets to the end of the show. And of course, some bands say like, we only have a few more songs, like we're super excited. Some bands don't tell you and some bands will say like, okay, this is our last song. And of course, as a headliner, you never know if they're gonna go off stage and then come back on. You don't really know what the encore deal is gonna be. So I had a feeling it was coming to an end. And I also knew that they had one song missing from their EP and it was the song that I really, really loved. And I was like, if they don't play this song, man, oh, I'm gonna be so devastated. So fortunately, they start playing that song and I'm like freaking out and I was like, oh my god, they're gonna play this song. Um, so they played Rituals and it was great and I loved it and oh, like such a good song to see live and just such a good song in general. So that was awesome. And then of course they um, followed up with um, I Found God, which is, um, oh my gosh, see, a lots of ums again. Most popular song, at least for me and according to YouTube. So that was fantastic the two right in a row rituals and then I found God was just like an unbeatable com combo I could not have asked for a better ending and then the guy was like okay well like that was our last song thanks and then right before he's like should we do one more so they came all back on stage the lead singer never left the stage but everyone else kind of left stage so they all came back on and they played um outcasts which is another song of their or outcasts outcasts um so it was really good. Again, my friend knew that song, so she was like super pumped about it. But yeah, it was great. It was a, such a good like three song combo right at the end. So I really appreciated that. So now, 
and also like all the bands were gonna meet people afterwards which was awesome so that was really cool it was overall like a fantastic show again not a huge fan of kitten but they really put on a show anyway so now time to rate hmm it's tough I mean I really really enjoyed the show I thought mainland did an excellent job even though I didn't like kids music they did an excellent job keeping me entertained the whole time I mean just the lead singer in and of herself was just fantastic like she definitely deserves a gold star for just the amount of energy she brings to the show and then rad horror was really good too I knew I was gonna like their style of music though so I don't know I it's like I I mean, so my one problem, like my one little thing with Mainland was that some of their songs became thinking songs for me, right? So songs where I'm kind of not paying attention to the lyrics at all and I'm kind of in my own head, which is fine. I enjoy being that way at concerts, but not during the headliner, right? I really want to just enjoy and know all the songs. And I mean, I've been listening to Mainland for probably the past like two, three weeks now, especially since our um, EP came out. I've been listening to it nonstop. So I don't know, I don't know why I was like a little bit disappointed that there were some songs that I came back from and was like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to be at a concert and knowing these songs. So I'm gonna have to give it, I think I'm gonna have to give it a solid 8.5. And I, I feel like I've been giving this nothing but great reviews, but again, I didn't really love Kitten's music. Totally appreciated their energy and just the effort that was put in. But overall, I wasn't a huge fan of the actual songs. Um, so that definitely marks off a few points. And then again, like it was just some songs that Mainland played. I just wasn't like as into it as I was with the other ones, which were fantastic. And I was so into it and I was so enjoying myself. So I think I'm gonna stick with an 8.5. But um, excellent show. Definitely if you check out Mainland, or have an opportunity to check out Mainland, check them out. They are a great band, uh, super fun to see live, great energy. They even, at one point during um, Rad Horror's set, they go, so do you guys like want us to play a cover now? And someone yelled out, Wonderwall! And he was like, yeah, we're not gonna play Wonderwall. So they played a different cover, Creep by Radiohead, but uh, which was great, fantastic. But anyway, so it was great because then right before they played, right before Mainland played their last song, the lead singer starts singing Wonderwall. So it was just like really funny. They were like super great about being involved from the start to finish. So yeah, really good show. Definitely check them out if you have a chance. And um, I think my next show is next week. So I will see you soon. Good night.